You might be wondering if I've lost my mind. Am I really going to talk about how to use a potato in school? What does that have to do with educational technology or how to learn and teach better using that technology? Well, as you can imagine, there's a story behind this video. I was discussing uh, YouTube with some other people that also have YouTube channels, and the topic came up about how potato videos seem to be doing quite well on YouTube. They're quite popular lately. And you know, just like cats on the internet, everybody wants to, to see their video get a lot of views. So as expected, they're really popular in gardening channels and cooking channels, and there aren't too many technical uses for a potato. Or are there? So I joked that I was going to make a video on how to use potatoes in education, and it was intended just as a joke. But then I started thinking, maybe there's something there. So stick around, there's more to this video than might first meet the eye, or eyes. Get it? Potato? Okay, for many of us, we'll look back at the days of our very first school experiences when we had one classroom and one teacher that taught us many different subjects. And that's really the model around K to seven grades, where we would stay in one classroom, but we'd learn many different things, usually from just one teacher or maybe a special teacher would come in and teach a few subjects, which is where this whole potato thing comes into play. I remember growing potatoes in our biology section of that class and taking notes on the growth of the potato and how it grew and everything, part of my science curriculum. And then I remember using potatoes for cooking in our cooking class, which pretty obvious you're gonna use a potato in a cooking class. But then we also used potatoes in social studies. You know, we asked how, how did potatoes, how were they used in agriculture? How did different cultures use potatoes? And then in science, we made potato batteries. So we were able to use the potato as an energy source to you know, drive a little light. And then we even used potatoes in art class where we made little stencils with the potato and such. And we even liked them at lunch. We'd have potato chips. Now that probably wasn't part of the curriculum. But I was thinking about these potatoes from my youth and such, and I started to think a little more deeply about how the potato was used in education when I was in K-7. to Because it really represented a cross-discipline system that allowed me to learn using one object, the potato, and I wasn't just seeing the singular aspect of that object. What I was seeing is I was seeing the integration across multiple disciplines. It's an example of systems thinking as opposed to just a singular focus on one aspect of that object. And then I started thinking about how this starts to relate to technology. It started to make me think about how we can, you know, how we specialize when we get into later grades and we just focus on one subject at a time. And that made me think about my own teaching of data analytics to postgraduate students and how technology might just kind of be like that potato. Technology does not sit alone without context. When we're looking at how we apply technology to learning, there's questions as to whether we need to build a technical foundation and then use that in our future learning, or whether we should learn the technology within all of those subject domain areas on an as-needed basis. As an example, a typical approach to teaching Microsoft Excel might be to offer an Excel class, maybe a level one, level two, level three class. Would a better approach instead be to teach Excel in practice towards a specific discipline? Teaching the use of Excel as a way to calculate food cost in a culinary program, track customer engagement in a marketing course? And my personal opinion was that the experience that we need to uh, dedicate teaching towards is integrating the use of technology with a specific end purpose in mind. Integrating those technology tools into subject domains. And there are several journal articles that I was reading that discuss the use of technology in a classroom, integrating technology in a classroom, but I'd like to see more research on the application of technology using this more system-wide approach. Using the technology in different contexts to help with understanding of the subject that has a hand, as well as creative thinking about other use cases for that technology in an applied manner. So I believe that while we can certainly study technology as a subject area by itself, the real strength of technology comes in a systems approach to how we integrate it across disciplines. Now, while I'm likely biased towards data analytics in this regard, I do think data and analysis is a strong example of where we need to integrate the technical skill within domains. We need to integrate data analysis into social studies, 
art studies, culinary arts, business, uh, any type of fine arts. And just like that potato, we gain more appreciation of what it is when we see it as part of a system, something that has many uses and broad context. So I guess I ended up making a potato video, and I guess I'm excited to see whether this video gets more views than my average video. But I'm also hoping that the real message of this video, using an integrated approach to technology in the classroom across disciplines, is interesting to you. And I hope that you'll comment down below on your thoughts of whether we should integrate technology into diff different disciplines or whether we should teach it as a foundational skill that can then be used in different disciplines. This was also a little bit of an unusual video for the channel because I'm normally teaching very specific technologies as part of the classroom experience. So I'd also be interested in your comments of whether you like to see some of these more conceptual types of videos in, in the class, in the t videos that I teach. I'm really looking forward to hear your thoughts on this. Comment down below, hit the like button if you like it, share it with colleagues that are interested in either potatoes or technology or educational technology. If you're interested in any of those things, you should really be watching this video. Take care and thank you so much for watching.